Hello everyone, welcome to part 10 of Laravel 10 tutorial in which we are first creating the admin panel and later on we will create a website and uh, see here uh, we are going to start updating the admin password okay we are going to work on the change password functionality of the admin and we will start working on this functionality from this video okay and it can take I think around two videos to update the admin password okay so uh, in this video uh, we are going to add the form add the page as well then update password form and here also we are going to update the left side bar okay we are going to merge the form design first of all we are going to merge the form design that we are going to use for the other forms as well in the admin lte template okay so before starting further because uh, i'm going to show you the earlier template this is the different template that we have used we have used earlier as well you can open the stack developers dot in website that we have created a uh, few years back in fact two years back we have created this website in laravel 8 you can see this is the another e-commerce website that we have started we have completed this website uh, last year and you can see this is the another website and for this website as well this complete website it is okay you can see the complete e-commerce website full featured e-commerce website that was and uh, i'm going to show its admin panel that also we have done in the admin lte okay but now we are using the new version of admin LTE this time with the new template okay uh, in that in that one as well uh, I'm going to show you we have worked on all the functionalities admin functionalities and I'm going to show you that how the uh, admin functionalities how the uh, admin panel looks in that one as well okay so I'm going to open and we'll show you the admin panel here uh, you can go in this admin panel give the password and here you can see this is the another layout of the admin lte3 okay so this is the old layout of admin lte3 here you can see the change in the dashboard design earlier it was this white background and the simple layout you can see and this one is having more mobile friendly more responsive okay and this one is not that much responsive but this one is more responsive than the last one it is good for the mobile devices as well as the tablets okay so complete uh, it is having the it, it works for all the devices okay this this template so i uh, i prefer this one and, uh, right now otherwise this one is also fine okay so here we have also done the update admin password functionality you can see in the settings here and then everything comes under settings all these things then uh, it comes here the catalogs in which we have done the e-commerce website okay so, so this part is the catalog and this part is the setting so we are going to work on first of all the settings part in which we are going to first work on the update admin password okay so this is the form that we have added that time so now once again we are going to check the template and we'll add the form okay so let's start and we are going to check its template first of all uh, here it is the admin lt version 3.2.0 and i am going to open its template that we are using i am going to uh, take it here and here uh, see uh, we are going to use the form this time this forms journal element and here we are going to pick up this one so i'm going to open this one uh, this uh, uh, I am here it is located in pages uh, forms and journal okay so I am going to pick here and we'll see here uh, so I'm going to search for this quick example okay so I'm going to uh, search this is the main content that we want to copy okay so uh, I want uh, here the uh, page like I'm going to open our uh, this is our folder uh htdocs folder this is our project project 10 resources views admin so like dashboard we are going to create one more page here i will just copy paste here and will rename it to uh, update password updates uh, underscore password okay so this one blade.php here i am going to make the copy of this one and we'll open this one here update password update underscore password okay so here 
uh, this main content I am going to this one is not required this main content I will remove okay and we'll paste here uh, this one uh, here this one I am going to copy this one uh, from the uh, that HTML okay from our Airbnb admin template okay now we are going to make the further changes all unwanted data we are going to remove but first of all here we are going to add here like settings and here we can make it like uh, update password or change password anything we can add update password and here also we are going to make it update password okay uh, so email address then uh, here it will come old password first of all then current password this one is not required okay this one we can remove this one and also we are going to remove this one as well uh, so we we'll just require the copy of this one we are going to copy this one two times then old password then current password and after that new password okay so uh, now submit uh, now uh, this style is not required at all we are going to see once that how it looks i am going to open but it will not open because uh, we have not created its route okay so let's create its route as well in web.php file i am going to create one more route here uh, for updating the password update password i'm going to make it update password admin controller will create it function as well update password like this okay so this function i am going to create inside the admin controller and here so i am going to uh, create its function here after this one a public function update password like this then return view inside admin folder uh, we are going to, we have created the new uh, update file uh, update underscore password okay so now i will try opening this one uh, here uh, replace it with the dashboard and make it like update password let's see if this form will open yes this form is opening uh, but uh, here you can see we will remove all unwanted data here we will keep only this update password form okay uh, so we are going to remove everything else uh, we will not keep other forms okay this one i'm going to remove and now i'm going to see and this one also we are going to remove okay so all unwanted data uh, that we are not going to keep okay uh, so this deep goal uh, see here we are not required this one and just uh, that much we require okay so we are going to refresh this and see uh, now it's fine but here uh, the test uh, i think the test must be uh, here we are going to make it test like the color must be in black okay the rest everything seems to be fine here once we fill something yeah it seems to be fine okay so now see uh, it looks fine here update password and left sidebar also we are going to modify like sidebar dot blade dot php here instead of dashboard we are going to use here settings and the first one we are going to use here uh, update password uh, here i'm going to make update admin password okay and here like update admin details Again, I will write update admin password okay so here I'm going to copy this one and we'll paste here update admin details okay and this one I'm going to remove for now and see so I'm going to refresh here and here uh, you can see settings in send settings update admin password update admin details okay uh, so also see uh, we can use here uh, i think uh, yeah same uh, okay so so it is fine okay 
so we can use it like this and here also we can provide here the linking uh, here the link of update ad, uh, update admin password is admin slash update hyphen password okay so now see here and also this one uh, we will make it active this one right now but this one we will make it dynamic later on okay we are going to make it dynamic later on and uh, only the uh, active currently open tabs will open okay see here update admin password update password here i will keep make it update admin password here as well uh, okay update admin password and here as well okay uh, so here in the first one uh, see it is uh, we can't update the email we will just show the email uh, of the admin who logged in okay uh, so here we are going to show with the auth guard uh, email of the admin uh, so here uh, like uh, and also we are going to update this one like uh, admin email something like this and this type is not required here placeholder is not required here and we are going to make its value in value we are going to pick from the auth guard admin auth guard admin we have used the guard for the admin separate guard for the admin and here uh, we are going to use that user okay uh, user email i think email will come uh, so i'm going to see whether it will work fine or not user email uh, okay so this one we are going to uh, close it like this uh, let's see uh, whether how what it show uh, some issue uh here also this is required now let's see now it must be fine and here you can see email is coming okay so we will make it read only as well uh, this is not uh, editable and also we can give it uh, uh, some shade like uh, background color something like background color we can give here uh, so that the uh, user will come to know that this uh, uh, field is not upgradable okay uh, like this one mm, or maybe uh, more darker like uh, this one Let's see how oh, it will look uh, yeah okay something like this so here uh, the user is required to fill all the information here okay uh, oh I have made the silly mistake here uh, this one is the current password only this one is not required see current password after that new password that is fine after that confirm password will come okay confirm password now it is correct okay so uh, here so I'm going to update all here like uh, this one i'm going to make it like uh, current password current password like this okay and here also we're going to show current password name also i'm going to add here current password okay so after that new password for new password i'm going to make it like new password like this and here i will add here the new password here as well okay so name also i'm going to add here name also like this i'm going to add here new password okay so after this i'm going to add here confirm password confirm password like this and uh, here as well i'm going to add here confirm password and here also name is uh, confirm password okay so now it seems to be fine and uh, okay so let's see uh, okay so don't worry about this one this one is filling with my add-on okay so it will look like this at your end current password new password confirm password with the email address email address the user can't update this is just for the reference that you are going to update the uh, password for this email for this admin email okay so this is the email that the uh, admin is going to log in with uh, and he can update he see here what he will do 
he uh, first we are going to check uh, his current password if the current current password is correct then we are going to check his new password and with the confirm password both must be matching okay this password must be matching with the confirm password so these conditions we are going to add uh, in the next video and after that we are going to save the new password and we are going to test with that so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye